All right, a deep squat ISO hold. So what we're gonna do here, most advanced version, do a goblet squat, sink into the bottom of the squat, and hold. Uh, when I give this to you, if it's in a warm up, it's probably about 30 seconds. If it's post workout, it's gonna say accumulate two minutes. So that meaning that you're probably not gonna be able to just hold this for two minutes. Um, so you'll, you'll just do 30 seconds, take a break, 30 seconds, take a break for a minute, take a break, whatever you need to do. As soon as you get tired and your form starts deteriorating, then you can put the bell down, come back up, and accumulate two minutes over the long haul. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. That would be the most advanced. Um, you can also just kind of hold it out in front of you to use it as a counterbalance like this. You can hold it right here. You can put it on your knees uh, to kind of push your ankle forward, work on ankle mobility if you feel like you have tight ankles, right? The main thing being keep your back as flat as possible, keep your torso as upright as possible, so we don't want to be down here like this, and then reaching through the top of your head and keeping your whole foot on the ground, even pressure. You should have your big toe connect to the ground, heel connect to the ground, and pinky toe connect to the ground. You might not be this deep, maybe you're right here, uh, but the main thing I want you to do is just spend time in this bottom squat position. It's one of the best things you can do for hip mobility, ankle mobility, and improving the squat pattern. So that is the deep squat iso hold.